All right, welcome in water signs. How are you guys doing? What is up? Hope things are good for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Just want you to know you are all in my bubble of protection. Only love and information coming through from the highest sources, your higher self, communing with my higher self. That's what we do here. So I, I don't really include everybody. I don't include you guys always in my process here before I turn on the camera, but I'm going to start doing more of that. Okay, I want you to know you're protected as you watch these readings. And I am also in a bubble of high vibration, just so you know. And, and like that, all right? So if you like the content I create on this channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, for those of you who've been asking, yes, we are doing a North Node class, a new North Node class, help you understand what your work is here, is on this planet, what you're here to do. And um, also we're doing a new uh, beginner's business class, sort of to take that mission and understanding and calling and bringing it into uh, your livelihood. Okay, so that's all going on in end of October, November, and December. So you might want to check those classes out. This reading is for whoever it's for in the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It may not resonate with you, but if it does, I am going to do an extended of this reading. So the link is below for you to find that. Feel free to swap around the energies. I am, I could be talking to a cross watcher, so just keep that in mind, okay? All right, let's see where we go here. All right, crowd surfing. That's interesting. Crowd surfing. Who's doing that these days? Winter. Oh, purity. Wow. So this is um, a situation where, let's see, there's something about the crowd surfing thing that jumped out at me that I was reading the other day. Let me read that for you. Um, this is about your own energy, managing your own energy around other people, okay? And sometimes it can, can feel a little difficult, right? Especially if you're an introvert or whatever. And winter is a time of, you know, internal purity is, is uh, clarity of where you're headed in the future. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's see. Crowd surfing here. Uh, experiencing the energy of being with one person can be very challenging in, a, uh, in and of itself for an empath. Being around several people may manifest a, a myriad of different energies that become even more overwhelming. Parties, concerts, malls, nobody's doing that these days. Um, and other highly populated areas are often avoided by the empath for fear of losing oneself in the energy of the crowd. The empath system overloads quickly, causing them to experience anxiety or panic and zapping any possibility of normal fun. Energetic focus becomes the tool to navigate these overwhelming situations. Sticking to the task at hand while shopping or while you're with other people uh, can ease the intrusion of outside energy. So this is about a practice that focuses you, teaches you that you're capable of rising above and surfing on an energetic wave, not being impacted by the noise of others' thoughts and their emotional projections. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. This purity one, uh, let's see. I do, I'm feeling... Uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more like this is um, almost like a recombining of your, it looks like a recombination of DNA, doesn't it? It looks like, uh, you know, everything's coming apart and then coming back together again. So over the course of this winter, I feel like you're going to figure out ways that you can manage your own energy, no matter what's going on, especially internally, okay? Especially internally. Um, that's going to be important for you as we're moving forward into the next year, into 2021. And there is something about other people being very stressful to you. Uh, some of you uh, who are uh, more on the introverted side may have fallen in love with, you know, the way things are. Like we're, you know, separate but together, physically separate but emotionally together kind of a thing. Okay, there might be some real uh, strength in that for you, some real power. All right, let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. 
Six of Swords, moving toward healing. There's an Aquarian energy here, most definitely. Um, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Page of Swords, Justice, Libra, Sag, Aquarius, Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, I'm sorry, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Okay, so some things that you believe to be true about yourself or that other people expected of you. It's like, I just don't like it. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to be involved. I don't want to have, I don't know, like, I don't like it. I just don't like it. And I, I don't want anybody judging me because I don't like it. Okay. There's some things you might've taken part of in your part of taken part in, in your life that you have now been like, I'm not doing that ever again. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just not taking part in that kind of stuff. I don't want to have anything to do with third parties. I don't want to have anything to do with, with cheating or anything like that. It's like completely fallen down the well for you. So what's happening here, six of pentacles, knight of wands. Um, this is about an, uh, an even give and take. Okay. Verse with somebody who's not able to do that. <laughs> All right. I think you expected something of somebody that they weren't able to give you back. And so this is sort of like, I'm never doing that again. I'm never being part of a relationship where I'm the one that's giving all the time. Page of Swords can be about, um, I feel like there might be gossip around this person as it relates to a third party. There's gossip. And you're like, you know what? I've given so much to this person. I am just never doing this again. Over the course of this winter, you can come into clarity with your own true inner power and understand that this was a situation that is that is challenging you to it's not only to take to have agency right to ha have a sovereign being that no one's taking anything from me or feeling like no one's taking anything from me but to have somebody who is not only not giving back but then there's all this gossip around it okay i just bleh. um so this person, you could be uh, married to this person, and um, I feel like there was kind of a time when you were going to break it off. Justice, when there was going to be balance with this person. This could have been way in the past where there was an even give and take, and then you, you choose not to see this person as um, someone who has trouble with commitment. Okay, you choose not to see that. Eight of Swords here. You're choosing not to see that. You have your back to the to the Three of Cups. Not seeing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, other people could be talking about this behind your back. I feel like there's gossip behind your back. Okay, and this could have been something that looked to the outside world like the Ten of Pentacles, but in reality felt like the Five of Pentacles. Like, did you really get anything out of this? Did you get anything out of this marriage or out of this connection? So now you're learning to stand up for yourself. This is the crowd surfing and the purity thing. This is about I'm rising above it. I'm no longer making excuses for any, anybody. Um, I'm on the path to healing now. I'm choosing to really see what was going on. Clarity. Okay, I'm choosing to have some real clarity around this situation. You could be dealing with a Sag or a Libra or an Aquarius. Um, you could be going toward an air sign away from a fire sign or vice versa. Uh, I want to, I want to clarify the five of pentacles here. Ten of wands, eight of wands, nine of pentacles. I feel like you're fine. I feel like this situation feels like poverty. There's a lack of any kind of connection. Um, it's gone from 10 of pentacles to five of pentacles. So it's, it's almost like, you know, when you're in a relationship and it's ramping up, you feel like the thing increasing and everything like that. If it stays stagnant or if it goes back, you definitely feel it, right? I feel like this connection goes backwards. Like this person takes out the investment. They stop investing at all. So it's not even a give, even give and take. They just stop any kind of 
any kind of anything. Um, there can be no connection here, really. And I feel like the, the Ten of Wands, they're, they're going to tell you how burdened they are. They feel burdened in this relationship. And it has to do also with a lack of self-confidence for them. Um, but I also feel like somehow, interestingly enough, this person telling you this, now it's going to make sense to you. There's something that they're going to tell you about. It's their Ten of Wands, their burden. World, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. So they are, they have some kind of thing to say, whatever the burden is. This is, there's tens here, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and Ten of Swords here. They're feeling this ending, okay? They're feeling this ending. And they're, they're, the burden that they're unveiling is that they have another person. Okay, so um, I feel like this person, you have not wanted to see this third party. And I feel like this person has been taking away their energy slowly, slowly, slowly. And finally, you get to the place where they tell you about it. Okay, they tell you about it. They t can tell you about a single person that they're moving toward. Okay, this could be vice versa. You could be doing, you could be like trying to get out of a relationship with somebody um, and you're not really wanting to talk about the obvious, you know, the elephant in the room here. You're just wanting to get out of it so you can move on to something else. I do feel like this person may have another person. You could have another person. Somebody here has another person that came on the scene while this relationship was going on. And now the truth has to come out about whoever's uh, going toward another person, I feel like they're going to actually say it. I don't feel like it's going to be hidden anymore. I feel like, I almost feel like this person who you're dealing with is very uh, kind of full of themselves. Lack of self-confidence to full of themselves. That feels very uh, narcissistic, kind of, like uh, someone who, who, because who, um, true narcissists, really are such cowards, okay? They have no self-esteem, no self-worth. They build, they stand on the bodies of other people to make themselves feel better about themselves. They're really hollow human beings, all right? They have no sense of self-worth, except this inflated sense of self-worth that has nothing to do with who they are or what they're doing. You might have a toxic partner like this. Whoever this reading is for, I feel like they're gonna tell you about this and instead of instead of reducing your self-esteem i feel like you're standing on the bodies <laughs> i feel like you're standing on top of the world a little bit here by at least knowing what's going on i feel like this person is uh giving doing you a favor by i know you don't feel that way but having them pull back and pull back at least now there's a conversation of what's going on you're now going to know what's going on all right and the Six of Swords bringing you towards healing, I like that. I feel that like that's a really good thing. You could, like I said, you, you could be dealing with a Libra, a, um, Aquarius, or um, a Sag. Okay. So purity, over the course of this winter, um, you're going to come into a new and better place of self-esteem, a new and better place of... It could have already started happening. This could have since the summer. Could this could have started happening, and it's no longer like you have to put up a false pretense. Like the the cat's out of the bag. I feel like um, there's gossip around this. All right. I feel like there's gossip around this, and so you might not have wanted to hear it, but now you're hearing it. Okay. So. Let's see where we go here. Um, the link is below. If you want to continue on with me, I'm going to do an extended for this to see where we go. I'm going to get some advice for you, um, messages to you from your higher self, and let's see what happens, okay? Okay. All right. Link is below for you, water sign. I'll see you over there.